What's that transition been like for you from Coach BJ now to Coach Inge? Uh, I would say the biggest thing is uh, with Coach Inge, you know, definitely just his terminology with how he explains things. You know, because his biggest thing for him is having backers that can play dual backers, similar to what Beasley would do when he would hop over and play the mic last year. He wants backers that can play both ways, so he tries to uh, simplify the terms for us so that way we can play either one and also just being versatile because you never know what could happen throughout the season. Adam? How different are those two linebacker positions? What's the most difficult thing about having to play both? Uh, I would say with the will, I would say the biggest thing for the will is that obviously you're a weak side backer and a lot of times you're going to be dropping back and pass, so being aware of what's going on behind you because you, just as much as you have routes going on to the boundary, you also have things coming from the field, so just being really aware of what's going on around you. And the mic, you just have so much space out to the field, so just being pretty similar, being aware and just knowing your spacing because just you could be three steps behind and you know that's a complete pass, so being able to really close that distance. But both are you know pretty similar and you know fun to learn. Go to Rick up front. Coach Inge said that you're a guy who's big into preparation. Have you always been like that throughout your football career? Is that maybe something that, that has come up during your time in Tennessee? Just sort of what's that aspect like for you? Yeah, I would say more towards college, obviously, the just the IQ of the game and just what's going on is such a high speed and there's so many different dynamics going on. You know, obviously, especially with our tempo offense and how fast they go, you roll in, you know, fall camp and you're like, oh my goodness, what's going on? Everything's just flying by. But uh, definitely just coming in and watching film and just really like getting established. I would say like one guy, Edwin, he's been doing really well, just taking extra time to watch film, which helped him prepare and it's pretty, Cool to watch like a guy developing where I was in his shoes, you know, not too long ago, two years ago. And so, like I said, just really watching film and asking coaches, you know, think about like learn how they think about and how they process it. Because obviously, you know, you get the play call and it's all just a process you're going through, seeing the checks, seeing formation, and then you're ready to snap and go. Patrick? Caleb, it sounds like uh, Keenan's new nickname is Uncle Grandpa. Is that uh, who, uh, was that Coach Inge came up with that? And what did y'all think of it when you first heard it? I know you guys probably had nicknames for him last year because he was the old guy on that. But what did you think of the, the new one? Yeah, so uh, obviously Keenan is the older guy. We know we just call him like a vet. Um, old head is what Jalen Smith calls him. And, you know, always jokes behind it. And then, you know, he's heard us messing with him about it. And then he just busted out uh, Uncle Grandpa one day. And, that's just kind of stuck with them. So, you know, like, oh, Grandpa, what you think about this? Just like calling him out. But I think it's pretty funny. And obviously, he takes it well because he knows. But, you know, that's just that's his unique thing, you know? So. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, Caleb. Yeah, no problem. Thank you all. Thank you.